Travis Jackson, you take care of all the sprains, the bruises here at Mount Crest for all the students that, for football, basketball, all of the sports. Yeah, everything. Uh, I'm the athletic trainer here at Mount Crest. I work for Intermountain Sports Medicine and at Logan Regional Hospital, and we take care of all the athletes for all the sports through all three seasons throughout the year. So any bumps, bruises, scrapes, anything comes anything to us. From minor to major, you set, you send them on their way if they need to go yeah. to the hospital. Everything kind of comes through us first, and then if they need to see further medical attention, we'll we'll get them in to see another doctor. So or you're the one I see run out on the field. Yep, that's me. That's you. Um, tell me maybe how you can help kids with preventing some of these injuries, maybe. Uh, some of the suggestions that we give some of the kids is uh, wearing proper braces, uh, ankle braces, uh, maybe elbow pads, uh, proper fitting of helmets and shoulder pads and stuff like that to help prevent injuries. Um, some of the other things with, uh, with ankles and stuff is muscle strengthening so the joints are stronger so they don't get hurt. And shoes maybe too. Yeah, shoes. Um, you know, cleats and shoes and, and we deal with a lot of the runners and stuff too and the shoes make a big difference on their feet and, and injuries can translate up from the feet to the knees to the hips and back and stuff so even the shoes make a big difference. Very important so I guess we need to watch what our kids wear when they're yeah. in their athletic gear. Of course. If they fit right. All yeah, those. yeah. It, it can, you know, if your shoes don't fit right it can cause blisters which can affect a, a lot of the different um, always that come exactly. through. And maybe some diet tips. Do you do stuff like that here too? Uh, I do. Um, the athletes oftentimes will come in and ask about certain things that they may take or that their friends are taking or something like that. Um, and the diet is a big part of what an athlete does and how much energy they have, you know, how much rest they get, you know, whether they are eating a good pregame meal and stuff like that. So they, the, cat, the questions do come through and we do talk with the athletes on that. And you help them with that then? Yeah, we do. Also, like, if they, are, they have an injury, ice versus heat kind of questions maybe come up. Um, it, yeah, they do a lot and a lot of it depends on injuries and, and where you're at with those injuries, whether it's a new injury or an old injury and, and um, the new injuries, you know, you want to ice them to prevent the inflammation and stuff like that with muscle strains, you want to heat them. So a lot of it is specific to the athlete and the injury that they have. And kids are always growing, so we always need to be more aware of the, maybe some of the, the injuries that they caused during high school. Is that ever some kinds of concerns that parents have for you? Uh, it is. Um, a lot of parents, you know, of course are concerned about their athletes and things that happen. And um, they can fracture things like their growth plates and things that can affect the way they grow. And uh, we deal a lot with concussions. Concussions have been in the media a lot lately. And concussions can affect you later on down the road. So we deal with a lot of things in youth athletes that will affect them later on in life. And this is where you come in, you know, we're, we're talking about high school, but you, Trek Lion, as, uh, Lions, are the USU medical, tell me what that is, your yeah, title there. Yeah, I'm the head team physician for Utah State, and uh, I've worked as a high school team physician, so it gives me a chance to see kids as they come through high school. I see some of Travis's kids that he sends over to me. You're the one that deals with the big, university. big problems. Yeah, once they get to a point where they need to have x-rays or they need to be evaluated for something that could be a, a long-term problem, then we look at it and we, we decide at that point what further intervention needs to be taken care of. And a lot of times when it gets to me, Travis and I have visited about what kind of restrictions do we need to put on a kid? What kind of things do the parents need to look for for a condition worsening? So. And then with the Aggies, how do you see a lot of kids that have come through from different high schools that have had injuries in the past that could have been prevented. Yeah, and uh, you know it's interesting seeing some of the kids from the valley that are at the university. I'm able to see them as they've gone through a lot of their growth phases. And you made the comment about kids, you know, their growth. We see that some of their muscles or tendons are maybe asymmetrically tight, or or they have weaknesses, or maybe they spend more time playing with their friends and maybe conditioning. And so as I get them at the university, I tell them the intensity of their training, all of the demands of school, stress from being away from parents and mm -hmm. those sorts of things become big factors and as they are training and conditioning, they need to be really smart and use common sense about those things. I totally agree and I know you guys are heavily, Intermountain is very heavily involved with community things like you know the Utah State and the high schools. Um, how do you like doing that? 
<laughs> well, I, you know, I look at it as uh, some of the things that common health measures have been ingrained since we were little kids. Mm -hmm. But as we leave high school, a lot of times we start losing people. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, budgets the way they are and different funding cuts. It's sometimes difficult to have specific programs at the schools. And so one of my things is to really instill in people the importance of lifetime fitness. And when I see the college athletes, when they're done with their college years, I talk to them about weight management and the health, the things that they need to do to prevent long-term injuries and to deal with things that could become arthritic injuries. Uh, high school kids get you know, big time knee injuries or shoulder injuries and I try to help them uh, get on their way so they can do lifetime sports. Well, I appreciate you guys so much. Tell me where you guys are located. Uh, Travis is out here at the high school. Um, you want to find Travis at Golden Mustang. <laughs> he's out here all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, I spend my time up at the university, and then I have my clinic down at the Budge Clinic. Uh, you can come into the Budge Clinic. It's in the southwest corner of the Budge Clinic down at Logan Regional Hospital. And um, people can call in. Our phone number is 716-2800. And that's an easy way to get in to see us. And uh, we're happy to take care of whomever. Well, we appreciate you guys taking care of the kids here in the valley and further on. Thanks. Thank you.